Welcome back to Pathfinder Kingmaker. We are on our way back to the capital. And Bokken have got his lab. That is good. Sure, we'll fight them. Stand with me. Yeah, go no way to run. I aim through. Composite bows is useful. Scroll. Random crap. We march ahead. Sleep is behind. Now, is there anything urgent? So, Harim had success. The luxuriant ritual procession fascinates the locals. Congregation fills the temples and the citizens devote themselves to mindful contemplation. Plus five divine. Events. We have visitors that are waiting for us. This is a problem needs to be solved. Harim. Let's do that. Regent demand. We have to go back to the capital indeed. We have three people waiting for us in our own room. Time to search for the spot to rest. It's a good idea. I should never have come to the stolen lands. Of course you should. No, not like this. I shouldn't have stayed. But now it's too late to leave. But you are invaluable. We move on. Go directly to the throne room. Stefan Mosconi, the man before you reeks of vanity. His black hair is curled, styled, and generously waxed from the hair atop his head to the points of his moustache. His cheeks and forehead are powdered white, giving him a pallid look. His hand rests casually on the golden hilt of his rapier. As he approaches, a mean, sly smile appears on his face, clearly practiced and prepared in advance. Ah! The ruler of this barony. I am flattered by your attention. Sir Stefano Mosconi of Pitax at your service. The man performs a derisive bow. What brings a Pitaxian noble to my barony? I was just travelling back home to glorious Pitax after paying a visit to Restov, all in service to King Castruccio Irovetti. I thought I might take a day to visit the capital of Pitax's bold new neighbour. Sir Stefano sniffs, then grins. I must say, I really should have spared myself the trouble. It's hardly worth seeing. Oh, for good, I'm always open to criticism, so long as it is fair and reasonable. Well then, I'll gladly give you my report. Sir Stefano's voice takes on a condescending tone. Follow along on your fingers, assuming you can count. One, your army is weak. You lack the guards to properly defend your lands, so you must choose between the villages, the towns and the trade routes. Two, your economy is a shambles. You have to personally resolve an issue of tax collection from some lowly inn, and it seems your treasury even depends upon this handful of coins. And three, your culture is... well... Non-existent, really. What do you even have? No art galleries? No universities? Sir Stefano waves his hand dismissively. Your capital may as well be a cow shed, with you a donkey sitting atop a heap of hay. 
um, neutral good. Perhaps there's a touch of truth to your words, but my barony is still very young. Everything will be different soon. If anything ever changes here, it'll be the number of dung flies, and that will only grow. Ah oh, well, I shan't continue this slaughter. No use battling someone who can't even fight back. All the best. Sir Stefano performs a mocking bow. What an art. Octavia looks alarmed. You won't believe what just happened. Some crook showed up at your gates, insisting on seeing the lad who bumped off the stag lord. He says that he's brought a tribute to the new chief of the Stolen Lands and asks for permission to conduct his business under your protection. You don't want to be seen as another stag lord and your lands as an open field for thugs. Then throw this scoundrel out along with his tribute. Uh, guess we can do this. Choice effects. Gain 50 BP, arrest this bandit and clap him in irons. The same fate awaits any like him. You're in no mood for games today, I see. Fine, let it be so. Dodd Kavkin. Your Grace, we are victorious. We fought off the spider invasion and defeated the strange dryad who led them. As a sign of gratitude, your subjects have a special reward for you. 2,800 gold coins. Wow. I wonder, was this flood of spiders truly caused by that curse? I mean, the curse must be ancient and very ominous. The spiders were definitely scary as well, but they weren't ancient and ominous. I agree with Lindsay. This does seem strange. Seems more like the plot of an insane dryad than a true curse. Then how can we explain the dismal atmosphere on the bald hilltop? The pressure both of us felt there, Jod. Maybe the curse drove the poor dryad insane, causing her to lead this spider invasion into the barony. Christian shakes his head incredulous incredulously. In any case, I have alarming news. As soon as the spider invasion was over, I visited the bald hilltop again. It has grown quiet once more and just as gloomy as before. I don't think the curse is broken. Just laying low, like a monster that rests before it feeds again. I want to deal with this problem once and for all. Do you recommend? Yes, let's level the bald hilltop to the ground and put an end to the curse. I doubt we will be able to defeat it in such a straightforward fashion. The heart of the curse is undoubtedly centered on the bald hilltop, but the spiders appeared all throughout the barony. I don't think we are going to do any damage to the curse by destroying the hilltop. I would expect exactly the opposite. We'd only provoke it into attacking again, immediately on the heels of the last. No, the best we can do for now is to make sure that we are prepared for the next attack. Don't be such a pessimist, Christian. We might truly be able to overcome the curse, but only by studying it thoroughly. Your Grace, I will gather all the information available on this situation and get to work. How much time do we have? Oh, a fair amount. I'd say half a year or even more. Now that the bald hilltop is quiet again, I can barely feel its evil will. I'm sure we will have enough time to prepare for the next attack. Well, let's prepare for the next attack. Tristian nods. Very wise. If only we knew more about the curse, we might figure out some way to fight it. Lindsay frowns. Don't understand. I spoke to the locals. They never had any spider invasions before, and nothing ever happened on the bald hilltop before either. Now, both spiders and the curse, right when the new barony appeared in the Stolen Lands. All of this seems highly coincidental. Okay, let's go in and grab the uh, bow that I left in the uh, chest. And... Let's equip that bow on Ekundayo. Another interesting bow. Long bow plus one. Now nah, there's no reason to switch out the bow. 
forwards. And then manage some kingdom affairs. The visitor has met with the Baron. Missions plus one. Yes, that was the Pitaxian fellow. The Baron granted the Regent an audience to discuss the matter at hand, which gave us plus one community. And the visitor has met with the Baron. Regards to the Bald Hilltop. We can rank up. But the Regent is busy. As for curses... Arim is also busy, but we're 60 days to resolve. Yikes. Um, the North Null Marshes stops here. We cannot claim it yet. It's strange, considering I thought we had found most of the stuff there, but... I guess we will head out there again. Lathe? No idea where that came from. Well, I'm not going to the world map. Into the main square. And I think it would be a wise idea to level up these people. First of all, um, we have. Uh, Ish. Uh, I forgot her name now. Jayathal. Ish. Athletics, mobility, trickery, knowledge, arcana, and perception. Would give her outflank. Spells. Protection from alignment, communal. Like a good idea for that. Complete. And then we have Tristian. Who has multiple levels to go up. He needs to wisdom, of course. And then we'll give him persuasion and law religion. That seems like wasted points. We should rather do. We can level up two more times. As for a feat, should get select chant. That is all. Spell focus evocation, I think. And finally, we go with Christian, and then we have Octavia. You should have another level of wizard. Reception, Al Jacana is three. And she should have the accomplished sneak sneak attacker. As for spells, um the two spells. Molten Orb looks interesting. 
I guess mirror image, so you have some kind of protective spell as well. Give you one more level of wizard. You know what? We have enough people with perception anyway, so fine with that. We get even more spells. Visibility. Don't call. And then finally we have Regongar. Give you athletics, persuasion and magic device. It's completely useless to give you persuasion. Whatever. You should get armor proficiency with medium armor. And you have a bonus. Then let's do the arcane strike. Spell. You need something that helps you in close combat. Sure, might be nice. Another level of Magus. Magus Arcana. Huh. You have Arcane Accuracy. in attack and then you can get arrow I think that's everyone leveled up maybe it is then I will pause the recording and go uh, check in with the vendors there we are back on the road again and uh, I did buy one item um, these gloves for Lindsay that gives a plus five competence bonus on all trickery skill checks I believe that could be quite useful it's up to 21 trickery encumbrance minuses uh, not even sure why I get those encumbrances We're not carrying that much items. Then again, there is a bag of holding in uh, the city, but it costs 25,000, so kind of holding off on that. We need to uh, continue exploring the Gnarl Marshes. finished something trade taxes reasonable changes in legislation made it possible not only to cover the loophole but also to replenish the losses of the treasury loyalty plus three hands of gold take 14 days to solve Rumor has it that an unknown self-taught master of crafting items of extraordinary beauty and rare quality has appeared in the region. Such people are rare. Something should be done to entice her to stay. Let's send Tristian on that because uh, that might be uh, very useful. And we need to wait for uh, Octavia to return so we can rank up. As for regions, we still can't claim 
you know, the null marshes. So we'll just have to continue on our journey here. I'm not sure what we are missing, to be honest. A rest would be welcome. To rest. You constantly talk about the end of times. That we'll all die. Don't you ever just want to have some fun? Mm -hmm. I have fun when I watch your futile attempts to avoid the inevitable. It's truly funny. Ah, that dwarf. Nothing of interest. Okay, um, the only part we haven't gotten over now is up there. We can just move us up there. A rest would be welcome. A random encounter. Running won't help you. Bandit necromancer. More strength. Interesting Thanks. physics going on there. That sort of that was of interest. Resting would be nice, don't you think? Continue and then need to rest. I saw tracks near the camp. I'm telling you it's an ambush. Mm -hmm. No ambush. I'd feel it. Just a badger. A fat one. <laughs> Hunting goes much quicker out on the main map than when we're inside one of the locations I've noticed. Arcane research material. This resource belongs to a region outside your territories. We have to go claim those things. Where does this road lead? Okay. Resting would be nice. We're back Don't in the think? kingdom. We have an event. Visitor waiting. Okay. Projects. Still can't claim the North Owl Marshes. We might have to actually uh, finish the. Uh, Before we More can do that. Fades. We'll go visit Pepsville. Haram, I know what you wanted to tell me. Don't even try. I'm not going to bow to your brotus or to anyone else. But you are wrong. Everyone needs a name to call on in the hour when all things come to an end. He seems to be a frequent. Uh person they want to chat to. Back 
There is some kind of blacksmith here. A trader. Trades in very basic goods. Priest. Your Grace, thank you for finding time to visit this humble corner of your God's blessed barony. How can I be of service? Use the help of a cleric. That is precisely why I'm here. He sells an abundance of scrolls and stuff. Anything in here? Nope. Priest and trader. I will guide us. Citizen. Don't talk to these people. Without a doubt. I thought there would be um, an artisan here. Maybe there's something I lack. Okay, so we have to go back to the capital then. Question is, what do we lack for getting an artisan here? I mean, I thought we already... Maybe that's the artisan. Yeah, the humble shop of a local artisan. Plus one to economy when adjacent to a tavern or longhouse. separate slot in this city. We have a bulletin board, so we don't need more of those. Orphanage. What are our current stats? If you can get more military and more economy, that would be good. Shop provides economy when adjacent to a tavern. Put that there. Military, we probably need. Oh, and build a smithy. And I expect a barracks provides military. It also provides stability, which is a good thing. Community and loyalty. Plenty of those. Plus one to military when located in a settlement with barracks, but we cannot build that here. 
Okay, so how about the capital then? Building a windmill and a brewery. Shop should be adjacent to tavern, but that's not going to be possible. At least not in its current state. I guess we could move the bulletin board over there and then sell this and build a shop there. can build a smithy here and finally I guess we'll be the bugs. There we go. Both of our cities have been built up. We still have a visitor waiting in the capital. So... Is there a river crossing? Yeah, it's all the way down there. Let's get this road piece visible. Fight the random encounter, of course. Cobalts. Such impressive. Being right along. Now, while we are here, do I have to go to this location to claim it? Yes, I do. I'm hungry. When we stop. Now. I am amazed by your inexhaustible energy. It seems strange you can be so joyful after everything that happened. And you're always sullen and pouting, Harem. Smile a little. If we do <laughs> die at some point, I prefer to be buried with a smile on my face, not with a glum frown. Indeed. I guess we should go up and claim that. Another random encounter. A great ferocious monitor in this world. Being right along. We should go up and claim that one as well, then. There's also some ruins in there that needs to be claimed. But those are in the northern Null Marshes, and we don't own that yet. Let's go there. Any 
go same now what is the quickest way to go there one day and three hours a rest would be welcome yes I'm sure yep go and rest Amiri why don't you wear serious armor your entire body is covered in scars so what I'm a barbarian not some princess it's like that with us the more scars the better I think I've uh, put some plate mail on her but if you say so Another random encounter. Cobalt Flame Shaman. Let's just head back. I can't say these random encounters. Uh, are much of a problem. We go and then we should go claim this. And now we need to head to the capital. To the throne room since someone is waiting for us there. Peasant woman, her face soaked with tears, approaches you quickly. Oh, your grace, woe is me. I've met my darkest hour. You're my last hope. By all the gods I've ever prayed to, don't leave me in need. My name is Jenna, Jenna Tannerson. Our village is a short way from here. It's been two days since my boy Tig ran away, and I haven't seen him since. We've searched and searched, but it's no use. If you don't find him, no one else will. Do you have any idea where he might be? Jenna looks around and whispers, There's this old hag in the Gnarl Marshes. A swamp witch. I won't say her name out loud, don't you even ask. The mere thought of her chills the blood in my veins. She has the evil eye and she eats people. She even turns into a black raven and soars in the sky. It's sure as day that she took my boy. Try to find him. Oh, your grace, thank you, thank you so much. I'll be praying to Erastil to grant you long life. If there's any news, I'll be nearby in the tavern. May the god, good gods help you. The sobbing woman leaves. Plus one loyalty. Kingdom Affairs. Octavia has finished her mission. Triumph. The people didn't want to fight, only to know what that their voices were heard in the capital. The instigators disappeared as quickly as they emerged once the locals' faith in their ruler was restored. Plus three community. And the visitor has met with the Baron. Plus one loyalty. Um... We can rank up. That'll take us 14 days, but I think we shall do that. Community reached rank 2. Thanks to the Regent and the Baron, quality of life in the Barony has reached new heights. And now we have an insane amount of events. 14. Uh, so, Tristian failed. The counselor couldn't inspire the art artisan's interest, so she decided to leave the barony. Arim failed. The priests warned their congregations of the coming disaster, but not everyone started weeding on time. Those who lost their fields to the monstrous weed accused the baron of inaction. Minus one loyalty. Ragongar succeeded. Our scouts confirmed the presence of monsters and local militia successfully elim eliminated the threat. Plus three to military. What? Oh, ha ha! This is an opportunity. 
This is another opportunity. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem and we have a problem. Keston wants to discuss. Okay, um, let's go to the throne room. A problem demands your personal attention, Your Grace. Your acquaintance Oleg has been refusing to pay his taxes for months now, even though his trading post is located in your lands. The fool didn't realize he should have come to you immediately, but even so, please lend him your ear. What's the matter, Oleg? Oleg grimaces, making a clear effort not to not spit on the floor. Since the moment you founded this barony, Your Grace, I became your subject. He grits his teeth. But I'm still also a subject of the Aldori in Restov. When you brought down the Staglord, I thought my troubles were over, but no. Oleg shakes his head. My whole life I've paid taxes to Restov. Now, on top of that, your tax collectors darken my doorsteps. Hmm. Oleg, which would you rather swear allegiance to, Restov or myself? Oleg looks like he's surprised to be asked. He thinks for a moment, and you realize he's making an extraordinary effort to be polite. Forgive me, Your Grace, but regardless of what banner they fly, all tax collectors are little more than bandits to me. Advisors? Thoughts? Your Grace, the Aldori Sword Lords are true allies and the backbone of the barony. I would hope you still value Lady Tremande's support and won't let such, won't let such short-term interests undermine our alliance. Oleg is more important than a few months' worth of, worth of taxes. Collecting now would ruin a kind and honest, if somewhat clueless, man. Please keep this in mind, Your Grace. I'll go with the neutral good, then. We won't collect any taxes from Oleg this month. Let him go, and I will discuss the matter of Oleg's fealty with the Sword Lords in Restov, so we can determine whether he should be bound to them or to me. Oleg smiles faintly. Well, I... I thank you, Your Grace. He bows awkwardly, then rises embarrassed. That's most just of you. Castle bows his head. Wise decision. Should you wish, I will write Lady Jamandi myself and explain the matter to her. Perhaps she'll agree to a sensible sharing of the taxes between the barony and Restov. I am certain we can reach an agreement with Jamandi and acquire the trading post in short order without any direct conflict with the Sword Lords. Keston Gares. Your Grace. Keston's face looks worried and fearful. Your Grace, ill news from the Laurel Marches. Again. There were already many trolls there, but now people are afraid to leave their houses. The wilds are said to be swarming with them, and the hunters were the first at once to notice. Then came the merchants delivering packages and food to the outskirts of the barony. Now there are more and more reports of trolls attacking villages. At first I took the reports for gossip, thought it was just the fear talking, but a local group of merchants recently reported that most of the trolls seemed to be lurking around the house of one Bartholomew Delgado, an odd mage living out in the wilds all by himself. They are saying there are so many trolls out there that nobody can reach Bartholomew for fear of the beasts. Eston's face goes dark. Those trolls are up to something, and this strange Bartholomew fellow is clearly tangled up in it somehow. If the wizard's gotten some idea in his head to conspire with the trolls, we should make the first move and hit them with a preemptive strike. However, if the trolls are coming for him rather than to him, Eston sighs, it would be an enormous help if you could pay a visit to Bartholomew and figure out what's going on. I recommend haste. If nothing is done soon, there may be a grisly fate in store for your subjects. Right, I guess that's where we need to go next. Gongar, you busy? No. Then I got something for you. Gongar stretches his shoulders like he's readying for a fight. You may have killed the Stag Lord, but it's too early to kick back and relax. There's still plenty of bandits walking your lands. They still think it's their home. Me get some more soldiers before they cut through the ones we have and leave us with nothing. The half orc squints. You know which ones you need. 
Not the big dumb guys. No, you need fighters who want power. They will serve you well, and if I should grow too bold, the Gongar sneers sullenly, I'll hang them from the trees. Um... Select the strongest and most skillful recruits. I need real fighters. The Gongar shows his fangs. Dumb blockheads marching around? What am I supposed to do with these idiots? The half-orc growls in irritation and turns away. Now, whenever you do something that your advisors disapprove of, uh, you should not do that too often. Because eventually they might actually become so annoyed that they decide to beef. Okay, so we quickly need to do the um, plus one economy, plus one military, and another military. Troll raids sound like a very important matter. Your barony will soon fall. To avoid that, you will have to advance the main plot and complete the following quest, Troll Trouble. Okay. Requires 28 days to solve. The River Maiden. It's a problem. Requires 14 days. A Mermaid. Fey Magic. Requires 14 days. A Nasty Rumor. I what that means. Howling Wolves, and then Bandit's Outrage. Enchanted Wind is an opportunity, so we'll just have to leave that one alone. I see no other reason or no other possibility than to send Ragungar on this one. We're a maiden. Tristian on that. For Maiden, we'll send Harim on that. Nasty Rumor, we will send nobody on that. <laughs> the Howling Wolves, we can send Octavia on that one. And the rest one, we can't do anything about. Economy. Rank up. Can rank up military. Um, we cannot claim null marches yet, but we should definitely end the episode now. So uh, in the next one, we we have to go uh, to look for this Bartholomew fellow because this is not at all ideal. So thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time.